there viewers and welcome to Farming Simulator 22. It's still running here on the Silveron Forest Power Edition map. And of course, just a little uh, jaunt ride to the shop where I actually need to pick up a sower spreader. I actually didn't know this was actually a thing, but it is actually a thing. So go into Cedars, and here it is. TR500 Seed Distributor 6000, and it holds 800 litres. It did say in the description it fertilises as well, but as you can see, it doesn't. So just 800 litres, I'm getting it. It's a bargain. So I need to... Change the stickers to black and then orange for the actual uh, main color. Awesome, this is actually kind of nice already. This has got a working width of 12 meters, so this will be fantastic. So let's go and get some seeds then. So I would need two bags, I reckon will do the complete field there we go let's go and pick it up it is so dinky it really is and the only reason why i've got this is because i've never seen it before and i want to actually experience it so i need to go through to grass there you go. No cover. It probably would have been nice to actually uh, have a cover. And without having a doubled attached cedar, this is the actual widest width out there. Which is doubly awesome. Unless you don't of course include the massive uh, cedars but they are definitely mid game to end game equipment so let's line up here and get this field sorted out so there we go Whoop. definitely a bit out of line there I actually like how it trails can't see the spread so you can easily miss stuff to be honest there we go yeah you can't really see the spread like what you do with the fertilizer and uh, limer muck spreaders well, this is definitely unique and I just reckon a touch bit too quick. <laughs> what? Excuse me? Bombing Simulator 22 hacks? Wow, this is just amazing. I would just turn around and actually say. That the only thing so far letting this down is knowing where it's spraying. Apart from that, you're speedy, quite uh, quick and all on the spread. And if you're wondering what is actually happening there, that is me just aligning the road. So I know where I need to cut, well, fell down the trees. Goodness me, this is just like, what? This is really quick. And I haven't hardly used any seed. That is amazing. Oops. Yeah. See what I mean? You just don't know where you've uh, been. 
or where you're going to go. I can't quite tell which uh, is six meters away from the actual tractor. I'm not that good. I mean, this is taking me by surprise, to be honest. Speechless. I'm actually quite glad I hadn't really picked a fast tractor for this. But, it's happening. Shame it's raining. Yep, just missed a little bit there. Fantastic, this is. Really is. There we go. If we don't crash, no, that's good. So, how is uh, everybody uh, doing? Hopefully, you're fine and you're okay, and the weather is actually better wherever you are than what it is on Silver Run. There we go. Thought I missed a bit. I just have to make sure that this is actually perfect and 100% covered so I don't actually muck up anything. Because what my big plan is to actually create this field, turn it into grass, and then create some more fields around the area, make them grass. So I will have a steady flow of grass coming in, which can be turned into silage or hay. And then create some small fields elsewhere. That's if I haven't actually bought any more fields or available for agricultural purposes, as in, crops that can actually give me straw so I can actually do total mix and rations for the cows because I would like to uh, get cows on here there we go I won't go to the extent of actually having pigs or horses I might get chickens so I can actually have some productions going to fill up the industrial state and there we go that field is done and of course M is vanished again there we go and the thing is what I have to actually say I'm still confused with and no one's actually come up with an answer is to the fact why has Silveron got three fertilization stages and everywhere else has two. And there you go. Growth, non crops. There we go. Grass. Not even the other spoons of grass elsewhere is not showing up. So, okay then. All right. So, it is definitely growing. And I might have missed like a little speck. Right, now that we are over here, we can actually get on to the next stage. Which is, of course, getting all the trees who are on the road gone. And then I can buy a trailer, pick up the actual logs and then bring them back here to either be sold or to actually be used in the production area. These small ones can actually of course stay there and wait until I've actually gone ahead and come down with my chainsaw. I'm actually going to eventually cut all these trees down There we go. And presto. Cut away. Oh no! Really? 
Oh, you just had to do that, didn't you? Yeah, didn't put. All right then. Right, let's lift you up a little bit. And um, how do I flip this again? That is you. All right. Can you like that? There we go. And then lower. Up. Why aren't you working? I thought this can actually grab stuff whilst it's actually tilted. So that's for that, that is for that. That's there. Is it because I haven't got the cut line? There we go. Fantastic. There we go. All sorted. Now I can have that upright again. That is all good. I can actually come round and get rid of all the stomps afterwards. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's so finicky. There we go. Uh, didn't want me to do that. What is going on? I actually reversed. Okay, never mind. Let's carry on, shall we? Right. As you can actually see, I've actually done quite a bit of damage to this bit of the forest. And that's just only the road bit. Still have to get these small trees up with my chainsaw. But apart from that, the big ones so far have actually been demolished. Even though I haven't gone far, I'm actually feeling the strain on this tree harvester. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get it repaired. And then I can cut down all the small trees with a chainsaw. I'm not going to get rid of the actual leaves on it or the actual uh, branches. I'm just going to uh, leave it as the whole tree. It's only going to go into the production. So let me just turn that off. I can shut. I still need to actually lease out a spreader. There you go. And I'll work with this until it needs airing again. Because that is really extreme on the cost just to get it repaired. So Instead of repairing it next time, I'll be buying a new one. I'm not going to turn around and say, oh, right, the uh, mayor or whoever has actually bought me one and I don't have to buy one. I'll just get one free like I did with the actual wheel loader. The only reason why I did that because it actually came with the season pass. And I just wanted to show it off and bring up the fact that season pass has been released year two so all I have to do now is get my chainsaw out and just go ahead and cut down these small ones go shame I can't actually uh, run with the chainsaw out 
I will be getting rid of ones who are close to the road as well. There we go. More of the merrier. And these are actually quite tricky. The size. Yeah, them two need to come down. That I'm sure is foliage. But it's just you. And in the next episode, what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is the missions. Because I haven't actually done the missions yet. Collect trees and drop them off and that. There you go. Then ones will just vanish. Nor have I actually done the contracts, shall I say. Not missions, but you can call them missions, really. To actually uh, fell deadwood trees. As well as destroying boulders. I haven't done that yet, and I would like to. But I think I'll be doing that in the next episode. I'll be changing the foliage as well, terrain editing for this area as well. There we go. You have to get a marker set. Because these are basically just trees stuck in the ground. Really, to be honest. So right there. There we go. Got it. And this is actually a tree. Let's cut it down. There we go. It's one two. Brilliant. And then this one. These are just tricky. Christ. Just trying to find that right piece to actually connect to. There we go. And these as well. Well, this episode is just basically cutting down the trees on the road, making space as well around this area. Because I'm going to do a field at the back here for grass there we go and then let's go ahead and paint this I need forest green grass bedding so you can go there that's good I think you're a little bit bigger And there we go. I think that will do. And of course, get some meadow grass in here. There we go. Make fancy it up. Of course, it, the stream is there. Fantastic. Jobs are good. Em. Right, let's go over here. This. Get this going again, around like so. It is a forestry bridge after all. I don't really like these bushes, to be honest. A bit too frail. Right, can I please not have the camera be disturbed? Trees, thank you. Right, meadow, and that, 
is that? At least this way actually kind of goes and matches. Alright, there you go. Fantastic. Surely that shouldn't leave too much of a disaster with vehicles getting up it. And go over the bridge, walk this a bit over hill, and down. You can see the grass field, turn around, and you'll be coming into this area which will have greenhouses on. And then around the corner you have sheep. And then possibly something else around here. So I'm just planning out the future, really, to be honest. So let's go ahead and get to fertilizing, shall we? So I need a fertilizer. So spreader, where are you? You and oh, that's what I meant. It actually has a fertilizer as well as the actual cedar. Okay then, I thought when it was described, it meant two things together, but it wasn't. So I need you to leash you out. And then let's go ahead and get at least three like two bags. Two bags of fertilizer. There we go. So drop you. And it's still a rainy, gloomy day. Alright, pick you up. And go ahead. Fill it up. Fantastic. This is actually going quite well. To be honest. There we go. Not bad, not bad. There's a lot of trees to actually cut, so I'm not going to obviously show all of it on camera, but I will show most of it on camera. And of course the collection as well I will show on camera. And now, all what I need to actually do is make sure that this field is prepped and ready. As well as making sure that the road which I'm creating is fine. Put a bridge in because I knew that the stream was there. And now it seems like I've got everything done what I wanted to. Of course, I know there's other productions that I need to buy, place, as well as getting on with boats as well as the roller coaster but I actually wanted to show a uh, I'm coming off course there I wanted to show a different side to this map because everyone's coming on this map and showing off the boats the roller coasters getting the productions going and then eventually showing agricultural grass work when they find out that cells actually need the wool. I'm just starting from this point really to be honest. Now I've got money but that money will just go vanish as soon as I get another production. So I would like to actually make sure the grass is being grown for the sheep. And of course for profit for the moment because I haven't got cows yet. 
but I've actually cleared up space now for a road so I can actually go from here to the shop without using the actual main road needs to be and then that will connect to another field which will be grass as well it's actually going uh, quite well really coming together nicely in the next episode I can actually show off the missions so I've actually got a few mods which will help them out as well of course I'll be leasing out all the platinum edition equipment so you can actually uh, see that so I'm not going on the map and going right this map's giving you all this equipment I'm just going to ignore it this is what I'm going to go with I like to actually mix it up show off the platinum edition stuff as well as other mods and that I think is that it's only 12 but this rain is very daunting and very grey. I will be doing a long lease for the spreader. Because even though in the next episode I'm doing missions off camera, what I will be doing is cutting all these trees down here. And I believe I'll come up all the way to here basically I'll be following this path here and going straight across here and that should be a perfect size for the field on the back bit as well as having other productions going as well so I'm going to drive out to the main road so I'm not lost. And I'm going to actually say this is the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. And as always, remember, I appreciate you all. And hopefully you'll see me in the next one. Bye!